It has been quite the year for Imad Al Cigars Blue Diamond Stud Farm. Not only is he the owner breeder of Nashua, who won the Group 1 Prix de Diane and was third in the Epsom Oaks, but he also has Zotilla in his broodmare band, who is the dam of Group 1 French 1000 Guineas winner Mangostine. Andrew Rawlin, broodmare manager of Blue Diamond Stud, introduces us to Princess Lulu, who is the dam of Nashua, and to Zotilla. Well, this year, I mean, we've got the dam of two classic winners, one one homebred that we bred and fold ourselves and another that we bought the mare so it's all very exciting. For me and the team it's it's, it's a big you know we've had some big horses in Decorated Night and uh, Jaya and Al Jazzy and we've had some very big horses in the past but the breeder and the, the classic horse is, is definitely definitely the highlight so far. Princess Lulu you know she she was a very good race mare herself um, she's had some, some cracking foals, obviously Nashua and that, so far being the best. Um, she's got a lovely Dabawi colt, um, a lovely Dabawi colt, very, very nice. He thinks, he thinks he's special, so let's hope he's, as, he's, he's half as good as she is even, you know. But she, he's a very nice colt. Um, you know, she's had a few, you know, Luganini, he was a, he was a very, very good racehorse himself. Princess Lulu, for a start, she's a very nice, kind, relaxed mare. Um, she doesn't really, you know, she's very straightforward, doesn't cause too many issues. Can be a little trickier to fold because she has bigger foals. But generally, you know, she's such a such a kind-natured mare that, um, you know, she's she's very straightforward. Nashua's a youngster. She always, she was one that always, you always find there's a few that stand out in amongst the group. She always stood out quite nice, you know. She was a later foal, but she was, you know, she was a big, strong filly, which, uh, you know, in some ways, you know, you want bigger, stronger fillies in May, you know, they can come up with, come up with more issues, but she never did. And she was, you know, she was a nice, big, strong filly, stood out in the paddock. Um, against all the others um, of that sort of age and in fact she was probably you know a, a month old she was probably as big and strong as the ones that were born in January so she was yeah she, she stood out a lot and Zatilla we obviously we brought her at Deville and um, she you know she takes a little bit to settle into her box and things but you know once she's settled and we keep them nice and relaxed they stay in smaller groups here spend more time in nurseries until they're about a month old she's got a she's got a cracking foal this year uh, by two darn heart a lovely filly um, but you know it just adds to the strength and depth of the broodmare band i mean you start it you start with arwa and um, she's a half sister to order of st george you end the alphabet with attila who's the dam of mongerstein you know Right bang in the middle, you've got Manus Arova, who's you know got Silka Defence, who's very, very promising, and then you've got you know Florette, you've got I'm Wonderful, you've got Perling, you've got uh, Princess Lulu and Nerea. Nerea's obviously the dam of Al Jazzy, who won at Royal Ascot. So you know, there's it's there's get, coming to a lot of strength at the top end now. We're not just relying on one or two mares, you know, we're, we're ten or fifteen mares are in the in the top class. We try and sit down as whoever's around as a team and watch the big, you know, as many of the races as we can, not just the big ones. But you know, just the, you know, there's quite still, you know, you st even though we didn't breed her ourselves, we're still, you know, we've got the brood mare. We're adding to the, adding to the quality of the mare band, and and that is important for all the staff. And you know, everybody was cheering her on. We tend to watch it here in the office if we can, and everybody was cheering her on nearly as much as. Uh, as Nashua. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like or a comment and subscribe to our channel for more content from the TDN.